dangerous ground. Brian Whiteman Torn between his love for two sisters, furious at his father for submitting to the Nazis, a young college student faces the choice of a lifetime when he must decide if he will join the occupation or the resistance. 2020, the swastika flies over Scotland. It's been more than 70 years since the failed Allied invasion at Normandy, yet the resistance is still strong. A secret network of spies and freedom fighters operate out of Catholic churches, hiding the names of their members in church ledgers. The Americans and Soviets are poised to help liberate the country. The time for action is now. College student David Wallace has no idea how crucial he's about to be. He's just a normal guy, hanging out in the pub with his buddies, dating a pretty girl being frustrated by the usual father-son arguments, steering clear of the more intense Nazis at school, especially arrogant classmate Simon. Then David's ex, Louise, returns after a year away to find David dating her younger sister. She pushes that aside. She has bigger problems. She just blew up a Nazi police car and accidentally killed some people. Now, she needs David's help. Why? Luis is a spy for the resistance. Her handler, JB, and his aide, Rocky, are determined to push the Nazis back, especially now that the SS seems to be focusing on Catholic churches. And Simon is purging the school of resistance sympathizers. What do the Nazis really want, though? They want to cut off the head of the resistance, Stuart, who happens to be David's uncle, and who's supposed to be dead. That's why David becomes the center of schemes and traps and plots. Simon and the Nazis want to use him to find and arrest Louise. JB and Rocky want Louise to get David into the resistance because that will force Stuart to reveal himself, be captured, and let them take over the movement. They aren't okay with Stuart's subtle plans. They're ready for guns and bombs. Louise wants to use David because her parents are missing and the deal to get them back involves David. All around David, things are changing. He's never had to take action before. Complaining had seemed enough. But now, one friend is beaten in an alley. His uncle's life is threatened. Another friend is captured by Simon and waterboarded. His father urges him to stay out of it, and Luis's parents are at risk. He has to decide. He chooses liberation, and one passionate night, he chooses Louise again. It's the last peaceful moment for a while. Why? The twists are coming fast. Rocky is revealed to be a Nazi spy. JB is killed. The ledgers are confiscated, and now all the resistance is in danger. David must blow up a church and blame it on Simon to change national opinion and drive the country to enraged action. Louise must risk it all to meet her parents at a secret rendezvous, even if it's a trap. As everyone converges, identities will be revealed, lives lost, plots thwarted. But can David and Louise save the day and begin the path to a free Scotland?